Hello! In this video I'm gonna show you how to both factory reset as well as do an FRP bypass on your Lenovo G6. I believe it's the G6. Let me double check it. Yeah, it's the G6. Um, <clears throat> how to reset it and uh, so we'll get rid of the screen lock which we don't know. You can see I have some pattern, I don't know it. And I can't unlock the phone. Then it also has some Google account that I will need to enter in order to unlock it after the reset. And we'll also need to get into that. Okay, so let's begin with the hard reset to get rid of our screen lock, then I'll explain everything step by step later. So since we don't know our screen lock, we'll need to turn the phone off by pressing and holding on the power button, the one on the back, because this phone is like weird and has the power button on the back. Then you'll find power off, just tap on it, then click on power off here. And the phone will power off. Now let's wait a moment until it fully powers off. You saw this logo, it's a logo of network provider in Puerto Rico or somewhere else. So like, don't worry if you have a different logo being showed up, don't worry about it. Then we'll need to go to the factory reset mode. And that is a bit weird because you need to first start pressing on volume down and power button at the same time. The one on the back. Hold on. Okay, so the power button and the volume down at the same time. Then when LG logo shows up on the screen, release power button while still holding the volume down. Release the power button for one second, then start pressing it again after a second. So let's do it. Now both buttons, volume down and power off. Now I'm releasing power button and bring it a, bringing it again. And now I'm in this mode. If you failed, don't worry. Just go into it again. Try it again. Uh, now use volume key, the volume down to go down, then power key to click on OK, then go down and click on OK. Now it'll reset the phone. It will take a moment, so you will need to get ready for it to take a moment. Uh, so, um, because it's an old phone, it's an older phone, it's very normal for older phones to be like that. That they are restarting quite a long time. But don't worry, it's all fine, even if it takes like five or seven or ten minutes. It's all fine. You just need to go to the setup. I won't speed up the video so you can just play it back once you're doing the same thing because I believe that there will be basically the same times um, being shown. But if you want, you can just skip to the part of the video where I'm on the starting screen with the language selection. Okay, I'm in the language selection now. Let's select English. It's been uh, tested by our team on English language. So um, we can assure you that it works in English. It may not work in other languages. Technically should, but we just cannot guarantee that. Now let's go further with just the next button. And then skip the SIM card. Enable Wi-Fi. And then wait a moment until Wi-Fi networks show up. Connect to your Wi-Fi network that you know any password of. 
It can also be a public network, honestly. Just whatever network. Click on next. Then click on set up as new. And now it'll start loading, checking for the network. And it'll tell you that the device is locked because it previously had a Google account. And it'll ask you for the Google account that was previously there. But obviously you're probably watching this video up until this moment because you don't know that Google account. Because if you know it, you can just enter it and go further, right? Um, but if you don't know it, then you'll need to do what's called FRP bypass. FRP is factory reset protection and we'll be bypassing it so uh, we can use the phone without any problem. Okay, now it says the device was reset to continue signing with a Google account that was previously synced on this device. If that shows up, just go back, go back, go back to the main page, basically. Now we'll do sort of a weird thing. While pressing and holding on the emergency call, multiple times click on the next arrow. Now let's go back, let's do it again. While holding emergency call, press on the arrow multiple times. And you may need to do it a, f a few times, go back and do it, depending on how fast you do it. And uh, you'll see some legal documents. Agree to like, whatever, then click on done. And now <clears throat> it's gonna reset the phone again. And after the reset, we'll, be, we'll have the factory reset protection removed. When I first learned about this thing, it, I, I just laughed because it's actually funny and that uh, it's so easy to remove it. If you've ever watched other videos on our channel on FRP bypasses, you probably saw that it's way harder there. Mm, here it's like way easier. So um, yeah, you'll see it in a moment, but later on after it's reset, Technically, you don't have the Google account uh, protection, the Google verification protection, but it's still worth like watching the video till the end because uh, you should set it up uh, just to make sure that nothing breaks. Just set it up the same way as me, then reset the phone through the settings again. It's not that there is any sort of protection then, but just to make extra sure, because then we can actually guarantee that it's how we've tested it and it's how we've ha we have done it and um, and stuff like that. But if you do it a different way, then we just can't guarantee um, that it's gonna work the same as in your as in our case. And also, um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel uh, if you want to support us, if you like the video. I'm going to select the language here. Mm, I'm going to select again English United States. I think now this time the language shouldn't matter as much. So let's just skip it. Let's see if I can skip the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I can skip it, which means there is no problem with the Google account. I wouldn't be able to skip it if there was still the Google account protection. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to connect um, just to show you. Uh, you actually can skip the network if you want, but I'm just going to connect just to show you that the FRP was removed, the factory reset protection. Let's click on next. I'm gonna click on setup as new. And then let's wait until it loads. It'll load for a moment.
Yeah, now as you can see, this is what I wanted to show you. First of all, there's the skip button. Then it also say um, says the account will be added, and that that doesn't say this thing that device the the, the device was reset. I'm gonna skip the Google account for now because uh, we're gonna reset the phone later um, through the settings to make sure there's no further problems. I'm just gonna click on next. The date and time doesn't matter. Let's click on next again. Um, I'm gonna click on no thanks here. Uh, I'm gonna skip the fingerprint setup. I don't really care about that. Let's agree to the required EU lay. The other ones can go. Click on done. And now you can see it's booted. Now what you need to do, uh, what you should do is slide, um, okay, never mind. Slide to the settings, then go to general, scroll down to backup and reset. Okay, scroll down to factory data reset and reset phone. Now click on delete all, reset. And now your phone is, er is being erased and now you can set it up however you want based on your preference and your phone will be good to go. I hope that this video was helpful. As I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, ask more questions in the comments down below and see you in the next video.